Hello viewers, welcome again to my kitchen. I'm Murphy, your co-host, who is going to demonstrate how to cook rice, not using a rice cooker, which we are going to cook on the stove, and it's very suitable for diabetic, so it's a diabetic version of cooking rice. It is a very ancient method, which I'm doing it in my own way. So let's get started. And also for the ingredients are rice, which is important. And also I have some oil, which I'll show you later how I'm using the oil. And I'm using a collider for, I will tell you why I'm using the collider later. Thank you. Before we start cooking the rice, I'm going to show you how to rinse the rice. We cannot just pour the water and start cooking. We have to clean the rice. So let's get started. Uh, with your room temperature uh, water, so let's start. So squeeze the rice, rinse the rice well. sticking on my hand okay so now i'm going to throw out the water but you can use this first water for any uh, plants that flower flower plants that you have in your home this is the first water that i'm throwing out and i'm going to re-rinse again And so we rinse, I mean, we uh, throw out the water as much as we can till it becomes clear. If you ask what's the amount of the water that I need to use, uh, there is no amount of water that uh, specified to be used in this recipe. But if you are using a cooker or you are naturally you want to keep the starch and all, so you can, it's one cup for one and a half cup. Of, one cup of rice is equivalent to one and a half cup of water. So let's get to the stove. I'm going to turn on the stove now for a maximum at this moment, then later I'll reduce it. Just make sure to cover your pot so it, uh, it boils faster. First, the uh, rice is coming to a boil already, as you can see now, and I'm going to reduce the flame and let it cook through. Uh, just a little bit and let it cook through. We'll come back. Do you see I reduced the uh, uh, flame and it's still boiling? I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. I'll let you know why I'm adding the oil and I will come back later. Hello viewers, the rice is pretty much cooked. How do you test it? Take out a little bit and check if it's already been cooked, not grainy. And from my, for, from my judgment, it is already been cooked, so I'm going to strain them. And here we go, I'm going to strain the starch. So 
So let the, all the starch come down and uh, we have a perfect cooked rice. And all you got to do is re-scoop it back into the pot and I'll be back with you. So viewers, this is your final part of your rice, the end product. It is soft and it's starchless, less starch I would say and it is very suitable for diabetic patients and please uh, watch i mean uh, try it out and let me know how it turns out and even you may check with your doctors uh, for those who are having diabetic issues and uh, if it's suitable for you please go ahead if it's not suitable for you please follow your doctor's advice thank you and happy trying and please subscribe and also share the video with everyone please thank you